Several popular medications in the United States have been associated with an increased risk of dementia, particularly when used long-term or at high doses. Below is a detailed overview of some of these medications and their potential mechanisms. 1. Omeprazole. Omeprazole is one of them popular stomach meds that cuts back on how much acid your gut makes. It helps with stuff like heartburn and ulcers. But some research shows it could maybe raise your risk of dementia down the road. Here's a few reasons why. First, it can stop you absorbing vitamin B12 properly over time since you need stomach acid for that. B12 is real important for keeping your nerves and brain working right. Not getting enough has been tied to brain fog and a higher chance of dementia. Second, PPIs, including omeprazole, can alter the gut microbiota. The gut microbiota has a significant impact on brain health through the gut-brain axis, a complex communication network between the gut and the brain. Disruption of this axis may contribute to cognitive impairment. Lastly, some studies suggest that PPIs might cross the blood-brain barrier and potentially influence brain function directly. However, the exact mechanisms and direct effects on the brain are still not entirely understood. 2. Anticholinergics Anticholinergics are medications used for treating stuff like allergies, peeing problems, and stomach issues. They work by blocking acetylcholine, which is a chemical messenger in the brain involved in muscle movements and memory, and the potential link to dementia is concerning. Acetylcholine is critical for thinking skills and learning new information. These meds block acetylcholine receptors, leading to less of the chemical in the brain. If levels stay low for a long time, it can hurt someone's ability to think clearly and remember things, raising the risk of developing dementia. The longer someone takes anticholinergics, and the higher the doses, the worse this acetylcholine blockade gets. That ramps up the chance of mental decline. Older folks are especially vulnerable to the brain effects of these meds. Their aging brains already have less acetylcholine, and their bodies process drugs slower. Long-term or high-dose use of anticholinergic medications can significantly impact brain health, particularly in older adults, by disrupting acetylcholine function, which is vital for memory and learning. 3. Corticosteroids Corticosteroids are a common type of medication used to reduce inflammation for conditions like asthma or arthritis. They can help manage flare-ups, but long-term use does come with some risks. The hormones affect the hippocampus region of the brain tied to memory and learning. Over time, structural changes there can make it harder to think clearly or recall things. These drugs also throw off the body's stress response system and dysregulation of the HPA axis, which regulates stress responses, can contribute to mood issues, cloudy thinking, or dementia down the road. Additionally, if taken for too long, corticosteroids spur inflammation and oxidative stress in the brain, leading to neuronal damage. So while these steroids offer therapeutic benefits, doctors recommend using the lowest effective doses for the shortest time possible. The trade-off for tamping down inflammatory responses is a potential decline in cognitive health. So steroids can really help with swelling and body attacking itself kinds of stuff. But if you take them a long time, they can mess with your brain big time too. Mostly it's because they jack around the hippocampus, screw up stress regulation, and make the brain more pissed off and oxidative. So if folks got to use steroids long haul, keep tabs for memory and thinking changes, and maybe try finding other options so their noodle don't take too bad a beating. 4. Benzodiazepines Benzodiazepines, as they're called, are medications often prescribed for anxiety, sleep troubles, seizures, and muscle issues. They work by boosting the effects of GABA, a brain chemical that has a calming effect. There may be a connection between using them long-term and dementia. Mental function, they can cause short-term memory and attention problems, as well as slowed thinking in the moment. Taking them chronically might make these worse over time 
and gradually harm cognition. Sedating properties. The relaxing qualities of these meds can lead to feeling mentally sluggish and fuzzy, and over the long haul, this could impact overall brain health and make dementia more likely later on. Brain cell harm. Using these meds a long time might be neurotoxic, actually damaging neurons and disrupting brain circuits key for thinking skills. Elderly, more at risk. Older adults tend to be more sensitive to the cognitive effects of benzos due to age-related changes in how long the drugs stay in the body. This group seems most vulnerable to lasting cognitive decline and dementia related to long-term use. So in summary, benzodiazepines might substantially raise dementia risk if taken routinely for anxiety or sleep issues, especially among the elderly. 5. Amphetamines. Amphetamines are stimulant medications used primarily to treat attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, and narcolepsy. Common examples include Adderall and Dexedrine. For one, these drugs can damage dopamine neurons with prolonged use. Those brain cells are key for attention, memory, decision-making. Losing them ain't good, and studies also show shrinkage in parts of the brain important for thinking after heavy amphetamine use. Plus, the drugs put oxidative and inflammatory stress on the brain. That combo can kill cells and lead to cognitive decline over time. While amphetamines might help focus short-term years of use, can hinder memory, emotion regulation, judgment, the skills that start fading in dementia. So in other words, there's evidence improper amphetamine use changes the brain in ways that could make dementia more likely down the road. More research still needed, though. In summary, if you take them for a long time, they might hurt your brain. The chemicals can damage brain cells, change the structure, and cause lots of stress. This can make you more likely to get dementia eventually. It's really important to only use these meds if a doctor says so and checks on you regularly, especially if you need them long term, and got to keep track of your thinking skills too over time. Basically, amphetamines can help short term, but are risky for the brain long haul. 6. Antihistamines. Second generation antihistamines, meds like Claritin, Zyrtec, and Allegra, are used for treating stuff like hay fever and hives. Unlike old antihistamines, these new ones are supposed to make you less drowsy. They do that by not getting into the brain as much. But even though they don't cross the blood-brain barrier as much long-term use of these antihistamines could still impact thinking over time and a few reasons why. Some of them have mild anticholinergic properties, meaning they can block acetylcholine receptors in the brain. Acetylcholine helps with memory and thinking. So blocking those receptors, even a little bit, isn't great, especially with prolonged use. Using anticholinergic antihistamines long-term, particularly with other anticholinergic meds, contributes to something called anticholinergic burden. Too much of that burden raises dementia risk down the road. Lastly, older folks are extra sensitive to the cognitive effects of meds with anticholinergic properties, so even low-grade stuff can hit them harder mentally. That also ups their risk for developing dementia from steady antihistamine use. So in summary, while the newer antihistamines might not make you as drowsy, scientists think consistent use over many years could subtly mess with acetylcholine signaling enough to impact memory and thinking as we age. Elderly folks need to be extra careful with them. 7. Tricyclic antidepressants. Tricyclic antidepressants or TCAs, are an older type of medication used to treat depression and anxiety. Examples are Elevil, Pamelor, and Tofranil. These meds can help with mood, but they also have some downsides. And for one thing, TCAs block acetylcholine, which is key for memory and learning. If those receptors get blocked for a long time, it can lead to trouble with thinking clearly and a higher chance of dementia down the road. On top of that, the meds can also make some people feel drowsy since they're sedating. If someone feels a bit foggy-headed for a long time, it can be harder for them to think quickly and for their brain to stay sharp. And TCAs affect lots of different brain chemicals that help regulate mood, not just serotonin and norepinephrine. While that helps with depression, 
it may muddle up other brain processes that keep your cognition humming along the way it should. The cognitive effects can be especially strong in older folks. Their brains change over time anyway, and their body handles drugs differently. All of that means seniors are very vulnerable to some declines in memory and thinking with long-term use of these meds. 8. Statins Statins are medications that doctors prescribe to bring down cholesterol and hopefully lower folks' risk of heart issues down the road. But there are some mixed ideas on whether long-term use of these pills can raise the chances of losing your memory and getting dementia. Cholesterol is important for keeping brain cells and nerve fibers healthy. Statins cut cholesterol, so some scientists worry that could mess with the brain's wiring over time. These medications also tamp down swelling and oxidative damage. That's likely good for dodging dementia. But experts don't totally understand how statins interact with the brain chemical soup. Certain statins can sneak past the blood-brain border and directly change cholesterol levels up in the brain. So it's possible they influence thinking capacity. But different statins probably do this in different ways. So the connection between statins and dementia isn't clear-cut. Studies show these drugs might help or harm the brain, and statins can improve heart health by lowering cholesterol. But we still got to figure out how they impact thinking over many years. Some research hints statins might shield the brain from dementia. Maybe their anti-inflammatory and antioxidant mojo lend a hand. But other evidence flags potential problems from the cholesterol dipping or effects on brain cells. Folks using statins should stay vigilant for mental fog and memory issues, and doctors need to weigh if the perks outweigh the risks, especially for long-term pops.